The following program is an NBC special presentation. Ho, ho, ho! Ho! Well, it's getting real close to Christmas, but you're glad too. Well, I hope you got all your gifts wrapped. Well, as you can see, I've still got a lot to do tonight. But before I go, I'd like to give you my gift. Something I've wrapped up in the music and traditions of Christmas. And these are the things that give this holiday its special flavor. And I can think of no better way to bring you this gift than through some of my friends. Doc Severinsen, Ed McMahon, Tommy Newsom, the Tonight Show Orchestra, and the St. Mel's Church Choir. Christmas. Season's greetings, everyone. I'm Doc Severinsen, and I'd like to welcome you to our Christmas Eve celebration. You know, Christmas is that special time of year when friends and relatives gather to enjoy the warmth and the love that are so much a part of this holiday. So put down those last-minute decorations and join the St. Mel's Choir, conducted by my good friend Shelley Cohen, as we start you on a sleigh ride through the snow country of New Hampshire.
Okay, I know you're real busy, but take just a few minutes to listen to two of the greatest Christmas songs ever written. The Golden Trumpet of Doc Severinsen, the great NBC Orchestra, and Winter Wonderland, and the Christmas Song. Christmas stories delight everyone. In fact, they bring out the child in us. Now, here's a story about a funny little man who flies through the sky on the night before Christmas. And to tell that story is one of NBC's biggest kids, Ed McMahon. Has he come yet? Has he come yet? 
I told you he won't come until you're fast asleep. You're sure he can find us? He'll get here. He's never missed yet. Isn't that so? You can count on it. He's never missed yet. Will you read us the story now? You are so cute. Sure. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. I do believe I know that voice. You know, there have been more songs written about the Christmas season and perhaps all other holidays combined. Right now, Tommy Newsom, the orchestra and chorus, bring you one of the most popular of these. 
The sentiment expressed in the title kind of says it all. Have yourself a merry little Christmas.
Well, Sir Thomas of Newsom, have you hung your stockings on the chimney? Yes, I have, and they're almost dry. Oh. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to tell us about the Christmas season? Yes, I would. This is my favorite time of year, the Christmas season. And it's a time to share with family and friends, and it's so nice to share it with you two, who I consider my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. So Merry Christmas to everyone. Well, Golden Throat, have you had everything that's on your Christmas list this yes, year? Yes, I have, Super Lips. Um, before we go, though, I'd like to share something with our audience. You know, at this time of year, sometimes people get a little blue. They get right. kind of down. Listen to this. If God took the time to make each snowflake different, consider how concerned he must be about you. Merry Christmas. Well, that's a beautiful thought, Edward, and it's a thought that we should carry with us throughout this coming year. This is The Good Doctor wishing all of you folks out there a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.